so students uh, now we will discuss about the the characteristics or the features of financial planning which is uh, very much uh, uh, important requisite because in each type of organization in each type of business uh, whether its nature or size or type financial planning is very much a uh, mandatory and uh, uh, essential part because how the funds are coming and how it is to be applied means identifying the sources of funds means what are the requirements of funds in the organization first you have to identify the total requirement of the fund how much fund it is going to arise how much fund it is going to be needed then we have to identify the sources of fund from where the funds will be originated from where the fund will be generated and how the funds will come and then executing applying those funds in the organization to get the desired organizational result so as financial planning we have discussed the meaning from the meaning itself we can extract or derive the features that is financial planning is a planning of finances in the organization so financial planning means finances finances means the amount of funds resources money uh, etc and planning means what is to be done in the future will have to be prepared today will have to be prepared in the present so planning means it is a, a exercise imaginary or mental exercise which needs to be chalked down which need to be prepared such as a blueprint which needs to be done so planning is a bit of future oriented which needs to be done why it needs to be done by whom it is needs to be carried out and what are the specific goals so it is about the company concern so it should like uh, they should determine the amount of funds the sources of funds how it is going to come and then how we have to apply and this financial planning is very wide in nature because first of all this financial planning estimates that how the fund is to be going to come and how to apply by whom it is to be carried out why it is to be carried out, carried out when it is to be carried out and by whom what are the purpose so i have written on down all these things so first of all you can see it involves deciding because financial planning means to decide if we are keeping finances idle if we are keeping the amount of funds idle it is of no use suppose the funds or the money is kept idle without any use it is kept there but we have to decide or the organization has to decide how the funds the idle funds are put into usage and how those funds are to be put into usage how the funds are to be going productive in which area or which in dimension in which sphere of the business uh, the organizational will the organization or the company will invest those funds to gain the maximum return to gain the maximum profitability and to do some sorts of uh, 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 services through giving uh, good products good services to the users so first of all it involves deciding first we have to decide in advance what needs to be done with the sources of funds what are the total requirement of funds and how the investment of funds or the utilization has to be funds carried out when the timing is important how how means the method is important whether it's uh, the capital intensive or the labor intensive or the combination of both and what are the priorities what are the goals or the objectives of the companies so it needs to be done when how and why regarding all of the financial activities next we come that is like any other planning 
like take the take your planning about your future about your studies so you chalk out a daily schedule or a daily planner which you need to execute to reach your academic records academic fulfillment so you cannot do it in a single day you have to uh, toil work hard day and night to reach your goal so same this is a similar and a resemblance that in an organization financial planning is concerned about the future it is concerned about the fulfillment and attainment of or accomplishment of organizational goals which needs to be attained in future but it is to be done in a present it is to be prepared it is to be scrutinized evaluated in the presence of a manager or expert and all the things are need to be carefully scrutinized evaluated by the experts what are the key point concern in the organization what are the departmental goals what are the individual goals because all the individual efforts when combined together because no person or no individual employees can uh, make it or cannot achieve the organizational goal as individual but when it comes to the accomplishment of organizational goals all the individual efforts are collectively combined all the individual efforts as a departmental is combined so that it uh, provides a holistic and total organizational goal is achievable so like any other fa- planning financial planning is also based on future oriented and it involves forecasting as i said earlier it involves forecasting prediction by the way of forecasting means it is it's a sort of prediction by the way of uh, collection of relevant information about uh, uh, your business your rival business the relevant uh, business environment the uh, situations uh, the change in uh, taste and preferences of consumers the pricing factors the government regulation factors and other factors are to be considered by the organization so financial planning is very much related with the future it is future oriented and it involves forecasting estimation and prediction taking in all consideration about uh, all the factors such as pricing of the imports changes in government taste preferences government laws government's uh, rules and regulations everything needs to be taken into granted and it should be uh, rel- reliable all those informations and data statistics should be reliable and it should be relevant and keeping in those mind thing this financial planning should be carefully minutely precisely drafted along with the presence of the, the supervisors managers uh, all the experts professional managements and the uh, top officers now we come to the next characteristics or the features of financial planning that it involves deciding because the step all the initiation should be taken by the company by the concerned company so it involves deciding concerned companies as i have said you the company needs to prioritize the company needs to give preferences what are the objectives what are the programs the methods the policies how it is to going the identify the sources of funds allocate the sources of funds on a ratio of percentage basis what are the company's methods so a company should decide and take decisions like uh, we uh, we are uh, the company is in a profit maximization uh, as well as doing social welfare uh, to the uh, public so the company needs to decide the what its priority so priority the aim the objectives or the goals that it is going to make profit as well as do some social welfare to the uh, users or to the public so your objectives how is your uh, uh, modus operandi how the company is working and what are the methods being used 
the capital intensive or labor intensive what are the program all this uh, thing uh, concerning about funds and this financial planning is not very uh, what you call very uh, single in nature or very uh, like keeping in a very uh, what you call it's very limited so it is very wide and have a diversified use this financial planning is very wide in nature because it involves that it should be that uh, the uh, sources uh, of the funds it should be appropriately and rightly used because if the sources of funds are not used appropriately and rightly so it can uh, lead to blunder it can lead to disastrous effect so there should be an optimal feasible and viable uh, usage of the sources of funds which can lead to the higher productivity uh, then uh, higher generation of income profit maximization as well as giving uh, some social welfare civic uses to the uh, users to the public to the investors etc now next point that it is estimating the amount because when a company when a company is running when a company is executing uh, and operating all the activities so the company needs to think about the the amount of fixed capital and working capital it is going to use so we will come with fixed capital is the amount of capital because each company needs some amount of fixed capital for proc uh, procuring uh, for purchasing land uh, uh, and building plant and machinery tools and equipment so fixed capital is that amount of capital which is being blocked up in that fixed assets so fixed capital is that amount uh, of the capital or funds which is invested in procuring those assets such as land and building or uh, or uh, plant and machinery and several other equipments to uh, continue the productivity of the goods and services to enhance the productivity so these capital are fixed up uh, are uh, blocked up in this assets for uh, generating in income and revenue for the for the upcoming years while working capital is those capital which is required by the business concern for day to day operation of the enterprise because the enterprise also needs money for daily to daily running of the business so working capital is that amount of capital which is needed by the enterprise to run the daily business enterprise and activity that is why working capital is known as uh, circulating capital or it is known as that it is uh, the capital which is needed by the business enterprise to run daily daily activities or operations of business, business enterprise and next is that its next point is that uh, this working capital also needs the formality use of policies programs methods and the disposal of earnings and how the sources of funds are to be traced how to allocate those sources of funds how to make the uh, identifying the sources of funds and how to make that application of funds so the company needs to prioritize their aims their goals their objectives and on that basis the company needs to allocate those funds there are various departments in the organization regarding the working such as purchasing department finance department sales department so each and every company has to prioritize and allocate funds on the basis so these are the things or the features or the characteristics of financial planning i have written down in the board as you have discussed uh, do watch the video entire very carefully attentively and jot down all the key terms and points carefully and uh, be sure to refer your book if you have one and uh, re read it and grab the concept here and if you find any sorts of doubt please te text me we'll get uh, i'll solve you all your doubts by whatsapp during the class hours